Hello, this is Jerome from GeoPostcodes. In this short video, I will show you how you can set up Groplet map in Power BI using custom polygons. We will illustrate that by showing the population living in each postal code area in one county of South Korea named Bus Engine. So I need two files to do that. The first one is a CSV file, which contains the list of postal codes and the number of people living in each uh, area. The second file is a topo.json file, which contains the polygons, uh, so the shapes covered by each postal code. Now let's start the Power BI project, start a new report, and the first thing I'm going to do is to upload my CSV file by clicking on Get Data, Text CSV, and selecting my CSV file. So you can see my file with the four columns. The first one is the country ISO code, which is always KR for South Korea here. Then I have the zip code. Then I have the square kilometers area, so the, the area covered by the, by, by the postal code. And finally, I have the population sum in the last column. I can load the data. And now I will set up my map by clicking here on shape map and dragging from my CSV file, dragging the zip field to the location. So you can see it's setting up a map, but not really the map I'm, I'm willing to display. So this is showing USA. I would like to upload my South Korea polygons. So I will click here on Format Your Visual. Then under Map Settings, change the map type to a custom map. Now I can browse and select my topo.json file open it, and you see, no, I'm displaying the postal polygons in the bus engine province. But those polygons are still not linked to my CSV data. The reason for that is that in my topo.json file, the zip field is defined as a string, while in my CSV file, the zip field is an integer. So I will change the format of the zip field in my uh, CSV by clicking here on table view, then on zip, and so you can see it's a whole number type, and I will change that to text. So that's OK. And I can now go back to my visuals, clicking here, and you see now I have some color. Let's now color the map with the number of people living in each area. So I'm going to click here, here on Add Data to your visual and drag the popsum uh, field to color saturation. Great. Now I have my coroplet map showing the population living in each postal code area in the Busanjin County. I can do a bit more advanced things, for instance, showing the density of population for each postal code. For that, I will right click on PopSum, define a new quick measure, set it up as a division. And so I'm going to divide the population sum by the square kilometers. I can add that measure. I'm happy with the formula and I will rename it to density. OK. And of course, I can use density and uh, drag it to color saturation. And you see now the map uh, colored by the density of population. And I can maybe add some fields to my toolkit, like the population sum and the square kilometer area. So now I have my coroplet map showing the density of population in each postal code in the bus engine county. Great. I hope this was interesting. Thank you very much and see you later.